Hey guys, I'm back with video two of the T38 build series. You can see I got the nose section over here on the table. I did a good bit of sanding on it over the past few days, a little, little bit of filling here and there, and I got it fitting pretty much exactly how I want it to to the main fuselage over there. Canopies, got those sanded down. I've painted some of the base primer from Duratec on the bottom, front, and back sides of it where they will ultimately just have the frames. They're fitting reasonably well. They still fit a little higher than I want, but that's mostly because the, the bottom section of the canopy is kind of ballooned out a little bit where it hits the where the cockpit would be. So once I get those molded and the flange is only half an inch wide or whatever, it uh, should fit a lot better. Uh, that basically gets the main, pretty much the whole fuselage at this point is ready for a couple final coats of primer. That would be Duratec primer so I can get it on there and wet sand it down and polish it and everything and make it nice and nice and shiny which is something I typically don't do on plugs um, especially ones that are going to be kind of military they just spend a whole lot of time just to either dirty them up or put a flat or semi-gloss paint job on it that doesn't really show all of the effort that it went into making really really nice smooth shiny plugs so it, kind of wasted effort in my opinion but to each their own um, after that I started doing some work on horizontal stabs that kind of thing I used a product called DuraBuild which is just a typical automotive 2k primer um, typically you would thin this and then spray it with an HVLP gun or whatever I don't typically thin and spray this product. I just brush it or roll it on. In this instance, I brushed it on and you can tell it just looks horrible. Um, but I did that because I wanted it to build up really, really thick really quickly so I could cover all these rivet details as fast as possible. Um, so what I'll do is I'll hit this with 80 grit paper just to knock down the ugliness of it and I'll go after it with 150 grit until these little rows of vinyl rivets here start to pop through with color and once they pop through with color I'll abandon the 150 and go to a 220 grit paper and uh, sand it down until it's really nice and smooth and all the vinyl rivets are um, are visible and then I'll go through and individually take each one of those little vinyl rivets out with a pick. A little time consuming process but it only takes maybe half an hour to to sand this down and then you know, another half an hour or so to pick all the, all the rivets out. So this is what one looks like in its ugly state. And then I have this one in its not so ugly state, but still not the prettiest with the different colors. Um, the darker gray here is the Duratec. The lighter gray is the Durabuild. And you can see the little white rivets here I've got. And then you can see down here where they kind of got sanded through. Here they're almost completely gone. Um, you really can't see them all that well once they get to right about the area where the, the Dura build disappears for the Dura attack, they almost are completely gone. Um, I'll probably leave it just like this because even on real airplanes, brand new ones, used ones, beat the hell ones, there's areas where you can't really see all of the rivets where they have disappeared from numerous touch-up jobs or they've got more, they got filler here over them or, or who knows what reason. So. While it not be, might not be perfect like you would see on some manufacturers, I think it looks more accurate and more realistic to have it like this. So unless someone convinces me otherwise, I'm going to leave it this way because I think it looks cool. So there's one stab basically ready to ready to prime or ready to mold after I remove some tape from the pivot shaft where so I can mold that in. So that's that, and then I got the rudder, and you're probably going, "Oh my God, that looks." crazy <laughs> or horrible however you use whatever adjective you want to I'm um, actually did this on purpose on purpose surprisingly um, I did the exact same thing I painted the the primer on there sanded it down pulled all the little rivets out of and then I put some just some narrow masking tape over the rivet rows and then also right between the rivet rows basically centered and once I had all that done I took a sanding sponge in 220 and I sanded down in between the masking tape so I had the Duratec popping through. The reason I did this is I wanted to add a little bit of a wave effect to this to the surface. Um, that way, it just kind of makes it look more like a sheet metal airplane that has 
internal stiffeners and doublers and whatnot to where it's got a little bit of that wavy look to it. I mean, if you look at a real airplane, they're not perfectly smooth, which is why I, I went for this. The one downside is T-38s are very hard to find any sort of data on the rudder. So this may not be accurate, but I think it looks cool. Um, so this is what I'm going to stick with for now, just based on other airplanes I've seen and worked on and research of aircraft structures and being an aircraft mechanic and whatnot. What I would expect to see, not necessarily what you would see. I'll mold it unless I find data before I mold it that says this is wrong, in which case I'll fix it. But after I mold it, if I don't like it and someone shows me data that says it is wrong, I'll just remold it. It's not that big of a mold, so it's not really all that difficult. So that's basically T38, video two of the series. Uh, once I can get this little camera to stop <laughs> being difficult with me. This is the fifth time I've made this video today. Um, but once I get it figured out to where I can make videos longer than 10 minutes or get it to record longer than a minute, even though it says it's recording all of this, I'll start making more videos. Otherwise, I might have to go back to my old-fashioned uh, handheld Sony, whatever it is, just to get some lower-quality videos out so you guys can at least see something. So... If you're new, hit the subscribe button if you want to. It gets way more interesting later on. This is just kind of the, the doom and gloom of making plugs, lots of sanding and prep work. Once I get to the, the surface detailing and stuff, it'll be a lot more fun. I'm actually looking forward to that. So, like I said, if you're new, subscribe. If not, don't. <laughs> and for those of y'all who have been around a while, we'll talk with you next time. I'm going to go do some work.